Thank you for your interest in the allergy immunology training program here at Mayo in Rochester. We offer a full range of experiences in allergy and immunology, and we take pride that we have a balanced program. In the 24-month curriculum, the, there will be 15 months of clinical work and nine months of research or scholarly work. With the practice, you know, it's pretty much half peds allergy, half adult allergy. And then with our patient mix, we have the regular community-based practice, but then also the tertiary type practice. So you get a chance to really see the people with the rare or unusual diseases so, so that you're comfortable seeing that uh, down the road. So with atopic or allergic disorders, you'll see allergic rhinitis, sinusitis, asthma, chronic urticaria, food allergy, drug allergy, pretty much the whole spectrum. Uh, chronic urticaria and atopic dermatitis as well. The immunology experience pretty much consists of recurrent infections, immunodeficiency disorders, and eosinophil disorders. So you get a very wide range of patient experiences. The other strength of our program is, is that we get to see uh, patients from, really from birth, all the way to you know, be 101 years old. When you come out of this program, you will uh, be very well qualified to see patients both in private practice as well as academic. So having that flexibility, I think, really adds to being probably one of the best uh, clinical programs in allergy. Even after fellowship, there's things that you're going to learn, but the basis of that development is truly the fellowship program. And so as a pediatric allergy consultant, it's really having that time with the fellow, seeing patients together, uh, teaching them the fundamental knowledge of allergy. But it's also, how do you counsel a patient? What is the follow-up? How do you interpret the results? That you feel very comfortable and confident working through that process to figure out what that diagnosis is. Early on in your fellowship, there's a lot of support in terms of, um, you know, coming up with a plan and thinking about a differential and um, counseling the patient as well. And then as you move along in your training, um, you get a lot more autonomy in terms of, you know, coming up with your plan, enacting the plan, following up on it. And so I think there's this really, really nice sort of graduated process from starting out in fellowship to ending and, and being ready to for, for practice. On the research side, there are a number of opportunities in patient-oriented research, translational research, and laboratory research, and we work with applicants and fellows to, so that they can choose the project that interests them the most. I think we are fortunate to work with really world leaders in, in their fields and they're always so supportive in um, either helping us to join an existing research project or helping us to create our own and really um, make the most of the passions that we have, which I think is fantastic. We have nine months of protected research time um, as a second year fellow where we're able to formulate a, a research question, formulate a hypothesis, and essentially take that project from start to finish. Um, the number of projects that I've been able to be a part of in two years has been tremendous. I've been involved in researching causes and, and outcomes of allergic reactions to the COVID vaccines. I've been involved in asthma therapeutic research, just a whole host of, of projects that I think that protected time really affords the opportunity for. The fact that we can offer the fellows basic science, translational and clinical projects, it's also a big plus. It helps the fellows understand, you know, where the, the new data is coming from, how new research is being produced or made. And so uh, understanding how the data is obtained, again, both from the basic science and the clinical side, is very helpful. Um, it helps fellows understand um, papers, publications that they can read in the different allergy journals. If a, if a fellow has experience at the bench, doing you know, different techniques like UPCR, Western blots, RNA-seq, then when they read about those techniques in the, in the journals, then they'll have a better understanding of what's going on. In our adult clinics, we have our own, our own calendars. So as a fellow, you know, their, their physician, their allergist is, is, 
is myself. Um, I'm certainly supervised by by a consultant and, and run the case by them, but when it's your name on, on the calendar, that's that's those are your patients, and, and that's a relationship that you have with, with your patients. So you really feel like you have ownership in, in that regard. Um, and then when the visit's over, any questions that that patient has in the future come directly to you. And so I think by giving you your own independent calendar, that's probably the main way that the fellowship really it really helps the growth process throughout the two years. As far as the attendings go, they care so much about your education and they care about you not only as a fellow, but also as a person as well. Um, so you really feel well supported by the attendings. And then I'd say the whole allergy staff in general, everyone is so supportive and everyone works together as a team and as a fellow, you really feel a part of that team every medical institution there's brilliant people there's great teachers there's great physicians what sets us apart is that we're all working together on it you know if i have a i'm seeing a complex patient this may be a rheumatologic disorder i want to run it by somebody i just have to to ask them uh, and they'll answer and fortunately you know i'm surrounded by just outstanding people and that's why i like coming to work is because i know not that they're just great, but they're more than happy to help. There's been some exciting uh, changes that have gone on over the past two years, and probably the biggest one is our, our nursing area that, that we refer to as L15, which is an area where we do all of our skin testing, our breathing tests uh, for patients, our food challenges uh, for patients. And that was recently renovated to make just a really awesome, awesome nursing station area uh, and waiting room for patients where it used to be kind of a separate waiting room and, and separate nurses station. Now it's all one combined area that just flows so much better. We've enlarged our patient rooms to accommodate pediatric patients who may be undergoing food challenges to give them you know, room to roam in, in that room with have a nice TV, a nice bench, more toys to play with, things that really make their experience, the patient experience, uh, much more um, satisfactory. Not that it wasn't prior, but it's just that much better now. From just a safety standpoint, there's a lot more room in there to do your assessment, um, respond to, you know, um, symptoms if patients are having symptoms during their desensitizations. And so um, both from a patient experience standpoint and a patient care standpoint, it's been um, a wonderful change. A fun experience is really just sitting in the fellow's office. There's four of us and we all share an office together. So a lot of times we're bouncing interesting cases off of each other or an interesting patient experience that we had. Um, and it there's just, it feels like a family kind of sitting in that fellow's office. So that's honestly uh, um, one of my favorite experiences uh, so far of the fellowship. I've had a great time living in Rochester. I think there are a lot of things to do in the community. Some of my favorites have been hiking. There's tons of hiking opportunities just within 15 to 20 minutes of downtown. Um, and so that's been that's been really fun. Yeah, just tons of outdoor activities. Yeah, I'm a big golfer, so I talk about golf all the time in the office. There's great public golf here. Um, there's a country club that has like resident and fellow deals. Um, so tons of opportunities there for all the golfers. There's, uh, no, there, there's, there's plenty to do here. We've had a great time living here. For a large you know, faculty group, certainly with a lot of diverse interests, I think one common interest is uh, our fellowship training program. It really is uh, the pride and joy of, of our division. We really take a deep interest in the welfare of all our fellows. We like to think we take really good care of them while they're here, and we continue to take really good care of them after they leave. You know, I was gonna learn the content of an allergist no matter where I went, but I wanted to work in a place where, you know, it was gonna be exciting and fun to go to work every day, and that's what I felt like this program provided me with. Looking back, I would have made the same choice. I think we just get such good clinical exposure, such good support in terms of research and career development. You can't go wrong. I will say that our fellows compete very well for positions when they finish. I believe that if you came to Mayo Clinic in Rochester, that we would put you in a position to be successful in your future career. Thank you again for your interest at Mayo Clinic.